This is each fragment's God-given protection, so that there is justness in their individual process of God-potential unfoldment toward the One. Also, it prevents even your benevolent brothers from interfering or assisting, without permission, from the Holy Father. You see, during each life stream of each fragment there is present the opportunity and the potential for divine choice through the free will experiences of each fragment. The young souls begin to unfold their godness through the lessons they learn in each life stream experienced. In other words, they learn by experience to know God within them, and what thoughts words and deeds keep them in the darkness and ignorance of what their true God potential is. Now you may be asking yourself, what about the tremendous evil influence upon this planet? Why is it allowed by God? The reason is this, even the Satans or adversaries of God were not only created creatures of God but were also given free will. God is simply giving his adversary creations their opportunity to grow into their potential of Godness and divine holy light. But because of their limitedness in behavior, meaning ego selfish separation from the One, their reality or playground of experience was also limited by God. They are bound by their own choice to the lowest levels described, as the first fifth physically manifested experiences. You see, the fallen ones have self-imposed limitations by their choice to be adversarial and separate from their Creator. But they are always given opportunities to see the light of truth in the oneness of all. The rules are strict and the fallen ones know the rules to remain ego-separate from God but remain in their game of manipulation and deception. For example, if you feel the whisperings of the Antichrist within you, you can demand in the name of the Holy Father God and or Jesus Christ Sananda that all dark fragments and energies leave your space immediately. They must go. But they can hang around the periphery of your energy field and wait for a weak spot in your protective shield. This is why the importance of asking God for His white light shield of love, protection, guidance, power, wisdom, integrity and courage. So you must ask the Father within you to please show you that which you need in order to serve His will. Hence the importance of, not my will Father, but in all things let thy will be done. This sincere invocation is what keeps you on your path of service to God and the creation and out of the folly of ignorance and perceived separation where exist the dark brotherhood or antichrists. You may begin to see, that many of you ones here now have experienced many, many thousands or even millions of life streams on these lower levels by your choice to be or remain ignorant to your own God potential and connection to the one all that is. Here is a wondrous description of this process of discovery by our beloved brother, Germain. All dimensions of the creation exist simultaneously. You simply have only your conscious awareness in this, the third dimension. As you work and live in this dimensional experience, you, with the help of your spiritual teachers, are stretching your awareness to fourth, fifth and sometimes even higher dimensional levels. It is not a vertical stretch, as you perceive things linearly, it is an expansive all-encompassing stretch of awareness. Your awareness expands to the level of your understanding, when you have learned or some particular lessons, when you have owned the lesson, it frees your awareness just a bit more, stretching, moving, growing within the mind of the universal I am, the one all that is. Now the reason that your benevolent brothers, the hosts of heaven, have been sent to assist you is that many of you have prayed to God for freedom from the bondage of your self-imposed ignorance. They are sent here in answer to your asking God for His divine guidance and assistance. They are your brothers of higher awareness in service to light of God and the creation. You see, some of you have recognized the folly of the Antichrist within you and the influence that mass consciousness has allowed the Satans or adversaries to have over you and this beloved planet Earth. You are tired and frankly bored with this illusion, with being the adversary of Godness. You want your freedom, you want to claim or reclaim his holy lighted presence within you. It is time for graduation, friends, to higher levels of life. You will each now find or awaken to your divinity of oneness, or, and this is very important to understand, you will remain bound to these lower levels for perhaps another millennium, before another opportunity is granted by the expanding awareness of the God Self within by the One. Remember, though, that the lighted hosts of God may assist you and give instructions and truth through the maze of lies and deception, but they cannot do it, for you. You each must reclaim your own power of the Divine One within you. None can do it for another. So it is wise to pay close attention to your instructions for conscious immortality. You will either serve God or you will serve your altered ego self. It is up to you.
12. You must not judge others, but you must wisely judge all behavior and actions which are contrary to the laws of balance of God and the creation. And Manuel wisely told the people, Judge not falsely, lest ye be judged falsely. For with whatever judgment you judge, so will you be judged, and with whatever measure you measure, so will you be measured. Therefore judge according to the logic of the laws of nature, which are from the creation, for they alone are true and accurate. What do you see but the splinter in your brother's eye, and are you not aware of the sliver in thine own eye? You hypocrite, first, pull the sliver out from your own eye, and then see, how you can pull the splinter out of your brother's eye. First, learn the laws of nature and of the creation, their logic, before you judge and want to see the mistakes of your fellow man. First learn through the laws of nature and of the creation your own mistakes, so that you can correct the mistakes of your fellow man. You should never give sacred things unto the dogs nor throw your pearls before the swine, lest they step on them with their feet and turn on you and tear you apart. For verily I say unto you, do not throw your spiritual treasures into the dirt and do not waste them on those who are unworthy, for they do not thank you, and they will tear you apart, for their understanding is small and their spirit is weak. End quote, and they called his name Emmanuel. Exactly, as it is written, no one must ever judge another to be less or or more than he, especially, because the other one is of different color, race, creed or sex, or planet, than be you. But understand this carefully, you must wisely judge the behaviors and actions by anyone including self which you know or against life, meaning against or contrary to the laws which maintain the balance created by God within the creation. And so you must honor all of your brothers and sisters, as equal fragments of the one, but you must not, accept, tolerate or allow behavior and actions to continue, in your space, which you know break the laws of balance. But you must not think harshly of another and call him stupid or not worthy, because he is different in personality and behavior than you are and understand. Each is equal in reflection of God, only different. Celebrate and honor the unique differences of others, they, as are you, are expressing the Father within them in a unique and glorious way. Remember God allows ignorance of the laws only to a point, and then he is pushed out of the temple of any of his fragments who continue with their blatant disregard and honor for life. 13. As ye sow so shall ye reap. Also called the law of cause and effect. Now this is the law that most choose to ignore or misunderstand, when they do not want to take personal responsibility for their manifested experience, perceive good and or, especially, bad. God created cause and effect so that each soul fragment would recognize that, when he did a specific act, say stole a car from his brother, that there would be an effect to his transgression, such as perhaps going to jail. But the nature of the effect is produced in a way unique to each individual fragment which will bring the greatest opportunity for the understanding of the lesson for that soul fragment. Unfortunately, for many the repeat and repeat of similar slash same errors has continued over the course of some thousands of years. Yes, it is by choice that the soul would refuse to take personal responsibility for his thoughts, words and deeds. The catch is all are responsible for all which occurs within their manifested illusion, whether or not one wisely chooses to finally recognize and accept this truth is entirely up to each.